Programming and machining go hand in hand, and subprograms are used all the time. But with lots of subprograms, things can get hairy in a hurry. Ever wish you could keep it organized? You're in luck. That's what we're talking about today. Let's do this. Welcome to Know Your Doosan. Machine programmers use subprograms a lot. They're useful to execute features that are stored outside the main program. But if a program has a lot of subprogram calls, things can get messy in a hurry. And the more subprograms there are, the more you have to flip between screens and keep stuff straight in your mind. This is not always easy. Instead, you should keep your subprogram routines within your main program. Let's dive right in and make your programming life easier. The very first thing we need to do is check the parameter 6005 bit zero and make sure it's equal to a one. To do this, I want you to press the offset hard key and the MDI hard key. I want you to change parameter right to a one. Your machine is now ready to modify parameters if need be. Now I want you to press the system hard key and the parameter soft key. Type in 6005 and hit the search key. Verify that 6005 bit zero is set to one. Now that we've verified the parameter to use M98 with a Q call is active, let's apply this practically. Today, I'm using a program that I created with EasyGuide. In this example, I want to be able to control using my finish cuts within my program. First, let's put a block skip in front of the M98 Q1000 call. The M98 is just like a subprogram call, but I'm using the Q code to jump down to a line number of N1000 within my main program. Subprogram 02626 is pasted from line N1000 down. We're gonna do the same with subprogram 02525. Let's copy and paste that portion of the program from line N2000 down. I placed an M99 at the end of my N1000 code and also at the end of my N2000 code. As you can tell, just like a regular subprogram, the program will jump back to the line directly below the M98 and the Q call and continue to run the program. Notice that I placed an M01 code in front of my two finish cycles and their subprogram call. Now this is important. I'm gonna leave my optional stop on, and when the machine reads that line, I can either turn my block skip on or off. This allows me to control the finish cut for the inner profile or the outer profile. We have now moved our two subprograms into our main program, and we have complete control over our finish cuts. So as you can see, if we only wanted to run the rough cuts or just one finish cut versus the other, we can now do that. That's all I have for today. If you have any questions on subprograms or any other questions related to your Doosan machine, let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and keep machining with Doosan.